For Midwest Sports Saturday, I'm Jacob Pumphrey, and I'm joined alongside uh, head football coach of the Southern Arkansas Mule Riders, Coach Bill Keppel. And, Coach, um, you know, you got a big matchup, uh, last one of the season uh, coming this Saturday. You get to travel, uh, you know, less than an hour down the road to a place that you're really familiar with uh, in Texarkana, at Razorback Stadium in Arkansas High. Um, you know, you know, the season didn't really go – it didn't end the way that, that many would have wanted it to, sure. you, you especially. Um, but talk a little bit about – uh, what it means to be able to have an opportunity to potentially finish 2018 on a high note and to take some momentum into 2019. Well, obviously the season didn't end the way we wanted it, but you know, anytime you get invited to a uh, postseason play, uh, you've done something right. You've had a good year. I mean, I, I was sitting in our staff room with my staff uh, last week, and you know, you know, you to sit around here and mope and, and cry and be on a downer about how our season ended and we won eight games. What's what's wrong with us? <laughs> you know, so uh, it finally it sunk in, uh, sunk in that uh, you know we had a heck of a year. Uh, you no, know, it didn't go our way, but that, that's that's sports. I mean, you're not going to win them all, and uh, we got to week ten again playing for a conference championship. That's two weeks, uh, two years in a row. Now we got to figure out how to beat that team, and uh, uh, that's uh, what we'll be working for moving forward. Uh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, the loss to Washita, who has a very good football team, obviously, in the playoffs right now in the final eight, uh, uh, you know, uh, kind of snowballed on us to the, the next week, and, and that hurt. Um, couldn't really get over it mentally uh, with our football team, and uh, even though we thought we were in control for a long time, it didn't, didn't end up our way. But still, to get it's an honor to get asked. Uh, obviously, we were the next team up uh, that didn't make the national playoffs in the, in the uh, Great American. Uh, there's a lot of teams in our league wish they won eight, eight games. Uh, so, uh, you know, taking the high road, uh, we've had a heck of a year. Had a heck of a year. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's hard to put it all together and, and it all come around for a championship anywhere. I don't care where you're at. Uh, I, I know what it tells me. Our league has really gotten a lot better. Uh, I mean, you look at the course of, of the great Americans since they've put it together. Henderson's had a run of winning games like they've never won in the history of their school. And now they've kind of stepped back. And, and Washita has had two years of undefeated seasons, only two in the history of their school. And, and Harding throws an undefeated one in there. The good news, we've beaten Harding two years in a row. we got to get we got to figure out how, how to get the Tigers back uh, where we can beat them again, and which we've had good battles with them over the years. Uh, but it's an honor going to the uh, Live United Bowl. It, it gets you three more weeks with your kids. Um, whereas uh, it, it, we didn't get the invite, didn't get to play in the postseason play after the UAM game, we would have had to put up all our equipment. We wouldn't have been able to take our guys to the weight room. They would have had two months of, of doing nothing, being lazy college kids, you know, and, and uh, that's not good for any program. So I'm excited about that opportunity. It's been good. We, uh, the first week after our last game, we had three days of we scrimmage with our young guys. Uh, we got into the um, – Thanksgiving week, we had a scrimmage that week also. Uh, so that's all been positive. I think our team has kind of gotten over the the downer of losing uh, uh, at the end of the year there. And uh, we, we've kind of got a, a real positive frame of mind going into this, this week right now, getting prepared and uh, playing Saturday. Uh, you know, I, I feel good about where our team is right now. I, I know I feel good about our program, where our program's at. Uh, you know, it, it's just a piece to the puzzle here and there. And can you keep everybody healthy through the course of it? That's the, that's the thing we all battle as coaches. But, uh, you know, when you're relevant, uh, people are talking to you at this time of year. Right now people are talking to us and uh, people wanting to come play football here. That's all positive for us moving forward. And, Coach, you talk about, um, you know, you had several – big names step up for you this year. Some guys that were that were making a name for themselves, uh, you know, whether it was on the offense or defensive side of the football, even on, even on special teams. Uh, but coming into the year, I guess you could say there was kind of a three big names that were out there, you know, Barrett Renner, Karantz Higgins, Devondra Glasson, guys that you've uh, counted on for the past four years in your program. Um, and when you look at what those guys have been able to do, obviously Renner, his name sits atop most major passing categories in, in program program history. Uh, Karantz Higgins, a Harlan Hill finalist, first ever uh, as a mule rider. Uh, and Devondra Glasson was a finalist for the Gene Upshaw Award. So, uh, you know, great accolades for those young men. But the, the, the most impressive thing is that they're all redshirt seniors. And it, 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 it talks a little bit about 
kind of your program, your expectations to allow them guys to come in and, and, and develop. Talk a little bit about what it means to have guys come in, buy into the system, spend the year learning and developing, and how you've seen it um, portray out this year. Well, if you put together a strong program, you've got guys that have been in your program for five years, and that's what we, we're having happen here now. Uh, you know, I go back to the, those three guys right there, and you go back to their redshirt freshman year, and you think, well, they're just a guy out here. And uh, But they were talented. They had talent. We got a lot of guys running around here with talent. I mean, Barrett's going to go out of here, the second all-time leading collegiate passer in Arkansas football history. Uh, he said every every record we got here, except maybe a couple uh, at Southern Arkansas, and uh, those couple probably are the ones you're really not excited about being having. But uh, he's had a great career. Uh, four-time all-conference guy, three-time first team. Uh, so, uh, you know, obviously we'd love for him to go out on a high note uh, Saturday. Uh, and uh, he's just been a great player for us. And, uh, you know, the big question, who's next? You know, for us in the recruiting process, we feel like we may have next on campus. But uh, anyhow, you go to Kronz Higgins, a guy that came in here and from Searcy, Arkansas, and, and didn't know a whole lot of football. And uh, it's been just a real pleasure to watch and see how he's developed. And uh, – He's turned into a special guy, a guy that, you know, right now he's in, uh, one of the finalists for the Harlan Hill, the the Heisman in D D two, and and uh, a guy that's, uh, you know, we're we're getting words from scouts. He's he's going to be ranked pretty high, so he's probably going to get another shot uh, to continue playing. But he's going to he's leaving here the all time leading receiver in school history. We've had that distinction the last two years in a row with Jonathan Jonathan Wisehite last year, now Kronz this year, and that record had stood for a long time when you go back. Uh, so, uh, you know, that, that's, that's good for us. And uh, he's, he's had a heck of a career, and it's been fun to watch how he's matured. Uh, Devondra Gleason, a young man that uh, came from McGee uh, High School, Arkansas City, uh, that has just developed and, and become a, a real uh, premier player in our league. I mean, to, uh, last year, you know, he was the defensive player in the GAC. This year he was, he was right there again. Uh, he was – uh, obviously, he's fixing to be, uh, you know, uh, I think he's a second team All American on the uh, coaches' uh, uh, poll. So, uh, you know, those are all great accolades. Uh, he's had a heck of a career. His last two years have been really special for him. Uh, he's been um, just a, a really fine player, uh, just a good young man that uh, has a bright future ahead of him. Uh, whether there's football in his future, you know, you never have that answer. Uh, but I think there is. I really do. So, uh, you know, they've been uh, – that, that's that's where you want your program to get, guys that have been in your program and and uh, and been in it for five years. Uh, Division two football is, is developmental. I mean, we, we don't get the opportunity to recruit the, the blue chips that go to the Division one FCS where they walk in, they're ready day one, straight out of high school. Our guys have got to develop, uh, and that's the thing that high school kids need to understand. Uh, when they play at this level, it, it's going to take you a little time, you, and you got to stick with it. We think we have uh, the next uh, Karan Higgins on campus right now. We think we have the next Devondra Class and already on campus out here practicing right now, redshirting this year. Uh, so uh, we're excited about those guys moving forward. But uh, you know, right now is trying to finish this season off right, trying to get our ninth win, uh, which has only happened four times in school history, modern school history. That's positive to try to get our first postseason win in school history outside of going to the Aztecs Bowl one year um, and playing the Mexican national team, whoever that was. And, uh, you know, so uh, we got some, uh, we got a lot still to play for. And, uh, you know, we know we have a very uh, formidable opponent on Missouri Western. Uh, obviously, the MIAA is a very respected league and, and really good football. They're, they're a little more top heavy than our league. There's about five or six teams in that league that are really, really good year in and year out. Uh, I think our league doesn't go sink quite as far down to the bottom as theirs does but uh you know so uh, uh two really fine leagues i think our league's getting strong obviously you can see that from what's going on in the playoffs uh, with the teams the last two years that have made it out of our league uh yeah we're ready for our time but uh, it wasn't to be this year and i'm not going to sit around and cry about that i'm happy about eight wins and uh, i want to make it nine this saturday so uh that's where we're at Coach Kepler and his Mule Riders will go for that ninth win this Saturday at the sixth annual Agent Barry Live United Bowl, a Razorback Stadium, uh, Texarkana, Arkansas. Again, they're playing the Missouri Western Griffins. Ought to be a great matchup. Coach, best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. For Midwest Sports Saturday, I'm Jacob Pumphrey.